Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Nick. I'm Shannon. Today we're gonna be exploring a bunch of Goodwills in Orlando to try to find some cool Disney and other fun merch. So if you guys are ready to come along, let's go. What you got there? Sneezy. Oh my gosh, what goes here? Yeah, it's a little looks broken in some sort of way. Yeah, Look. and his ears missing. But... Oh, that's sad. All I, every time we find something really cool like this, there's but always like, something wrong with it. Okay, wait. But what if I like took a box or something, and I just like, then it's not broke. What's this? What did you find? Ooh. Oh wow! Look at that. It's a Halloween party. It definitely was like a picture frame. Right here. Oh yeah, look at his arm, it's missing. No, and his foot. And oh. Mickey. Unless he's a pirate, so it kind of I mean, it, I guess it fits the vibe. <laughs> you could get a hook and just like glue it there. <laughs> little DIY project. Seven. Well, it says Halloween party on it and it's broken, so. It's a sad day. But this one though. That is a pretty this cool has one. Potential. Oh, it's a Spider-Man, a hand-painted Spider-Man. Is it a, oh. oh it's a piggy up. bank. <laughs> what else is hiding in here? This one's from SeaWorld. It's the uh, the wild Arctic. What is this guy? What there's else? so many random things. Yeah, there's a lot of knick-knacky oh, things. Oh, uh, look, you could, you could hang Tinkerbell on this. What it was on there. I want this for our yard. Oh, that's pretty cool. You got Disney World, Universal, mm -hmm. and SeaWorld. Aww. Someone must have made that themselves. What is that? It's fake. It's fake. It's a fake cork board. It's not real cork board. But it could have been perfect for Snow White pins. Oh my gosh. It totally would have the little apple shape, but look yeah. how thin that cork board is. That's fake cork board. Yeah, that's not going to hold any pins. Sad. All right, well, this is one of my favorite sections to always check out. I'm always keeping my eye open for any Lego boxes that might make it on here because I found one one time. And uh, ever since, uh, I've always kept my eye out, but they are always so hard to find. But what do we have here? Oh, this is kind of cool. I bet you Shannon's gonna like this. So this is a little Animal Kingdom. Uh, I think it's, I think you can like put photos on each one of the little uh, sticks there. And then you got the Animal Kingdom tree on the middle, but they don't have this one priced. Hopefully it's not too expensive. This is always another good spot to uh, check out. Anytime they have all these baggy, bagged up toys, you can usually find some cool stuff hiding on the inside of them. Uh, but uh, I did spot this one bag, so it's it just looks like a bunch of random items until I flipped it over and I saw this guy here. This is a Lego minifigure. It is a, a big fig uh, from Ninjago. And I looked him up and he's actually a really rare figure. So uh, this whole bag for six bucks, that is gonna be a steal of a deal for him. You got a handful of things. Oh, it's, it's an here. Adventures by Disney bag. Somebody's named on it. Oh. <laughs> it was right. Well, what you got in your other hand? Oh my gosh, a goofy hat mug. I've never seen one like that. That's pretty cool. I kind of want it. Did you see the other one I saw over here? There's Yoda with his ears. A Rainforest Cafe. Anything else cool hiding in there? There's a Pikachu one. Another Star Wars. It's oh, like it's the, the pin. pin! We have that pin, the little Yoda Aww. meme. $5.99. Hmm. Hmm. Be mine, mine. Oh my gosh, all the Disney mugs today. And then there's even a Snoopy one from the M&M store. It's Yoda! Oh my gosh, another Yoda. This one's funny. <laughs> yeah, he is funny looking. There's the, uh, if anyone's name is Skylar. Minion mug. Anything else? I think that's it for the mug section. Oh, more mugs over here. Polar oh, that's pretty cool. There's two, one for me, one for you. All right, I'm peeking through the DVDs and no way. There is an iCarly Wii game. Now what is, what'd you find? It's another piggy bank. Oh, it's a piggy bank. Pretty incredible. I guess the whole family, that's pretty cool. How much? Oh. It's hiding on the back side. Seven. $7. Hmm. I see you've made it to your favorite section. <laughs> Two Svens. I want this one, but he's more money. What? One is more than the other? No, this one's seven, and this one's five. But it's because he's... Oh, he's not as good condition. Tigger and Rue. That's a pretty one, cool one. But she has yucky on her. Yeah, well, I guess it makes sense. Baby. 
and Lion King. And I don't know who this is, um, but it looks familiar. So. Yeah, I recognize that show. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it's called, but I recognize know? it. <laughs> oh, it's Grinch. Oh, Thumper's hiding in a bag. And a Grinch plushie. He's so, like, they need to put something in these <laughs> to make him sit up. Figment! Oh my gosh, Figment is hiding on the inside of this bag. And the bluey. I don't know if I've seen a Figment in a thrift store like that before. Uh -huh. Got a Zelda one, too. <laughs> This bag ain't <laughs> half bad. What are you doing over here? And why is the cart now filled with stuffed animals? I found a bunch to look at. You found a bunch to look you. at? This one's so dirty. Oh, that is a little bit of a dirty and Baymax. Of course, we got Olaf. Can't forget Olaf. He's There's awesome. one Olaf in every thrift store at least. Oh, poor Minnie. Oh my gosh, she got her lipstick, her makeup done. Somebody. <laughs> what made it into the cart, Miss Shannon? Who's that crazy guy up top? I want to, I want to ask if you knew who it was. <laughs> he looks like an Elmo style character, but... Fraggle Rock. No, I have no idea who that is. Oh, that's <laughs> like the knockoff Jim Uh, We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to look that one up just to know what it is. Oh, look. It's um, Paddington. Paddington Bear? It looks like an older Paddington Bear. Has to tag. Minnie Mouse in a pink outfit. For $6, though. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, I'm surprised they're selling them individually today. Normally, they have them in, like, a big bucket of animals. Yeah. Happy birthday. And it's supposed to play a song, but... Graduate, Mickey. This one's good. Yeah, that'd be a good little gift for anyone graduating. Yeah, it is graduation anyone? season. <laughs> Mater. Mater. <laughs> oh yeah, he is on the other side. And they found <laughs> I just like this one. Scram. Scram for four dollars. And I don't know what this is. Pooh Bear. National Beating 2006. But he like He jingles. He jingles and he's a cowboy, so <laughs> The Spirit of Mickey. And it looks old. That, yeah, that looks very old, actually. $6. Pooh Bear with some roses, his, and he's got the, uh... His legs Ooh, legs. How much is he, though? $5. Five dollars. bucks. Okay. And... A Mickey. He looks a little older, because they don't make his nose like that anymore. Oh. Oh yeah, this was one of my finds I didn't get on camera, but look at this. It is Yoda. I thought he was kind of funny because he's a little rubber guy, but on his neck, he's from 1991, so he he's definitely an oldie. And here's a little Buzz Lightyear ornament. Rawr. <laughs> and a baggie of Rexes. That's kind of funny. And I was taking a closer look at the Yoda I found. I found out he's actually a hand puppet, so he's supposed to, like, bow. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, but he used to have hair follicles, and I noticed it's 81, not 91 before. So that was when the uh, the Empire Strikes Back came out, I believe. So that is so cool how that that's an old vintage Star Wars one. He's $5. I'm tempted to keep him. Oh, you found a Pandora bag? Yeah, behind the counter here is usually where they keep some of their better stuff, and they had a whole that? bag of Legos, and uh, look That's at yes. this. This is a really awesome uh, snow globe. It looks like it's from Philhar Magic. You know how it has like the 3D, all the giraffes stacked on top of each other? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's probably a Yeah, deal. that's probably a realistic price for it. But... You've seen them in the Lego and Antiques. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we were hunting around to see if we can find any park tees, and we found this Flynn Rider one. You want to wear it? I it's not your size, it's yeah, it is a two XL, so just be slightly big on me. A salty, a little salty pretzel. It's your size. Well, it's a large, but it looks like it's a medium. Yeah, it doesn't look that big. There was a Hogwarts one. Ooh, but we're not Gryffindors. And then there was the uh, the Pandora T-shirt. Oh, you could wear this one, right? All right, so we have finished at the first location, and we are walking out with a whole bag of stuff. All right, here we are at the second Goodwill location. This one is the one over on Dyer Boulevard, so let's see what they have in store today. Well, inside one of the cases here, it looks like our mission of finding a Disney pin today has been successful. There is one singular pin. It's a hidden Mickey of a pirate treasure chest. Uh, I don't know how much it is, but it's not a highly valued one, so uh, let's see if I can read it from down here. 
All right, I was able to read the price, so it is $3, so that's actually not a bad deal for that one. I see someone's going crazy in the stuffy section again. <laughs> I found a big, huge Mickey. <laughs> oh my. What's that, Remy? Yeah, look, it's like a, I've never seen this. Oh, type. yeah, I thought he was like a Bigfoot or something, Party but no. of 12 friends. Interesting. Oh, it says again. Oh, he's from one of the international parks. That that reminded me because on the tag, uh, so these pins are now faked, but uh, we see these on the boards all the time because they're from, uh, I think they're from Hong Kong, but that little pin series, so that's what he's from. That's cool. And then I also saw... Oh, that's precious from the Moments Epcot, Rapunzel. huh? It's a Precious Moments. Oh, Everybody collects those. $7 on that one. But she's so pretty, look at her hair. That's, that's a good deal. Oh, I didn't find anything as exciting, but I did find a uh, yes. 101 Squishmallow. First $9, though. For, I don't know about that. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Okay, I found a baggie with some interesting stuff. There's some uh, Pooh Bear ornaments, oh, Mickey, Pokemon bracelets. Six bucks. You want to take a look? What else could be hiding in here? Iron Man, Grogu. Some transformer looking guys. Here's a Lego box. Ten ninety nine. Hmm, that seems like how much it would be in store, but well, fancy seeing you here, Mr. Olaf number one, Mr. Olaf number two. <laughs> Mr. Olaf number three. Oh my gosh, he spins. You want it? There you go. Tons some minions. And of course, there is an entire container of all Squishmallows. Well, any Squishmallow collector is gonna go crazy seeing these. My goodness. They seem like they're all $5. Oh, oh my gosh, you found a Rex pillow pet? And here is a little uh, fatty chip. And here's another bin of Squishmallows. Another bin. Okay, so I've spotted a lightsaber bundle. Not a super fancy one, but this is one of the ones they sell in the park, the, the blue one there. It's $10.99 for the bundle. I think the blue one in the parks by itself is just 40 bucks, so that's a pretty decent bundle. <laughs> oh my gosh, what he's is he so wearing? He, he has just, his hat on. Oh my gosh, this is such a silly Kermit. Oh, he's huge. He's a life-size Kermit, huh? <laughs> I found you a Hogwarts Build-A-Bear train. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, Shannon collects Build-A-Bears and she's got her little Slytherin penguin who can ride in his train now. Oh look. 50th year hat. That one's the Disneyland 50th. From Ariel. <laughs> Ariel's hat. It's a Disney trivia book and it's in good condition. I'm tempted. All right, here we are at all the paintings. And look at what I've spotted here. There's a, a Halloween Town sign. That's pretty cool. $6.99. That might have to go in the cart. Hold on, what is this? Is it like a 3D pop-out one? Is that a just a normal Dalmatian or is that a 101 Dalmatian? Huh. I actually don't know where this is from. There's no markings on it, but it's a pretty cool item. And what do we have here? It's an Ezra sipper cup. I don't know if I would drink out of that still, but it's pretty cool. And only $6.99. What, you find something? Oh, it's a Rudolph picture frame. Well, here's a pretty cool baggie from Shanghai Disney Resort in Donald's on there. What are these? They kind of look like they're noodle bowls. How much is that? Six bucks. There's three of those in there and some random kitchenware. Oh yes, look at this. It's a Pizza Planet popcorn maker. All right, so we've made it to the mug section. Is it gonna be as good as the last one? I haven't seen anything stick out to me yet. What'd you find there? Oh, it's just a Christmas lamp. What is in here? Oh, there's Olaf. And a Winnie the Pooh. Hold on, I see something here. What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh no, Pumbaa is broken. Oh, Pumbaa came off of there. But that's really cool. The little Lion King. Oh, and that tail snapped. But what is this? It's $19. Oh, 
Where did this come from? This is from the uh, Disney Showcase collection. This one's probably pretty expensive, but sadly. Whoa. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool, but there's definitely a bunch of little tiny broken pieces throughout. Okay, so I was trying to figure out how, how everything all fit together, but I now realize, so there is young Simba here, and then he, then you're able to swap out this piece uh, where he can turn into old, older Simba. That's kind of cool. Another pillow pet, Pua, and he's brand new. For $8. Always got to peek in the ties, because look at this. There's a Harry Potter one. So doing some more research on this guy and um, so brand new, it's a little over $100. It's 19 now, but the sad part is I, I found out it's missing Timon. Timon is supposed to be at the front there. So uh, we only have Puma on the inside, so I'm gonna put it back. And some more classic finds. We got the ear hat and the mini ears. Only wow, that's a pretty good deal. All right, we're finished up. We're walking out with another big bag of stuff, of course. Yes, yeah, the Build-A-Bear train that's taken up the majority of it. So our find of the day here was probably this Precious Moments one because these things are pretty dang expensive in the park and they only sell them during the uh, Wanley festivals. I think they're probably like 60 or $70 usually, but the, we scored this one for $6.99. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you all for coming along with us. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave us a like down below. And subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Have a magical day.